Hello everyone and welcome back to runout.tv gaming where we're doing Margate FC on Football Manager 2016. Um, I want to give a big shout out to Mark Baker who kindly subscribed as a, a Margate fan himself. So thanks for watching mate, hope you enjoy the series and stay tuned and pass it on to your friends, why not? So you can get a few more hits uh, for the channel. Also do other games as you guys know, Virtual Pool 4, the Golf Club, um, Football Manager obviously, sometimes NHL 16, we haven't done one of them for a little while but anyway... Back to the save. The last time we were here, it was the 11th of August. Happy days, good memories. And um, we had our first matches against uh, Whitehawk. Now, as you can see, just to show you the table after these series of games, we are actually top of the division um, with some good form. Won seven, drawn two, lost one. Goal difference of 14. Everything's going pretty well. So it's all started good. We'll go to the squad in a second because we've got a few... Uh, things I want to tell you about of what we're doing. Charlie Allen, who's our best player. He is a top player in the division. Really good player. Uh, key player. I don't see, it doesn't say what he could become, but he's one of the best. So that's a really good thing to have a quality player like that in the team. We'll come back to that. Wait a minute. Back there. So anyway, schedule. Our first league game of the season after winning all of our friendlies. Um, we didn't have a lot of like really difficult friendlies, but... Um, we played Turo, I think that's how you say that. I'm going to say that. And um, we won 3-0 with Charlie Allen, Eric Odiembo. I'm going to say that. It's quite a difficult name to say. He scored twice late on, but it was a fairly fairly good game. If you look at our midfield in the performances, 9-9-9-9. I mean, a dominant performance in the middle of the park. Os Obastella, 7-18, brilliant left-back. Used to play uh, for Millwall and, uh, you know, has played a long time for Welling in this division and has done really well. So he should be really good for us. Whoops, I need to go back to uh, what have I pressed. We'll just let that do what it's doing. But yeah, I was really pleased with that. Uh, we had a lot of shots on target. Eight fouls, one yellow card, 56% of the possession. So that was really, really good. Um, really pleased with that one. And our next game... We travelled on the Tuesday to Whitehawk, down at the, right on the south coast, and Freddie Ladapo got two goals. The only two goals he scored. He hasn't had a lot of football. Now that's going to suck if it keeps doing that. Um, David Hunt had a good game at right back. That's good. No, it doesn't do it again. Thank, thankfully, um, Ladapo man of the match with eight point eight. So he was playing well. Again, um, Odiembo got his place but didn't play that well. But everybody else was fairly solid. Again, less possession as you'd expect away from home, but we matched them in terms of shots on target. So I'm looking at the tactics and thinking this is a really good thing. Um, we then went to Havant and Waterlooville on this, the following Saturday, won again. And Joanne Cro Taylor Crossdale, who had not looked too good, I was a little bit concerned. Um, he then played really well. James Hayter scored late on, and we were actually under the cosh a little bit. That sort of paints a. A weird picture because towards the end of the game they had nothing and then they started to get all of that at the end of the game, all of their shots on target and stuff. So uh, that was a bit a bit weird. Uh, okay, so following on from that we played Wellston at home and Christian Jolly, Danny Green and an own goal from Matty Parsons. Now this kid looks excellent, Connor Calcutt. Um, he played really well against us. A bit of pace, average stats and that turned into like a bit of a threat to be honest. I'm going to scout him. Just to show you guys, have a look at him because he's pretty good. Now, I'm not sure about this. Why is it loading the highlights? I don't like that. Um, okay, Basingstoke. We then went away from home. We had a little bit of a funny run. Obviously, at the start of this game, as you can see, Joanne Dijuan, I think that is, Taylor Crosstail scored dead early on. Um, and I'm thinking at this point, we are just going to walk away with the league. It's just not even a contest. We're going to be like, we're just going to be awesome. Um, all the players played well. Unfortunately, we lost 3-2. We just conceded goals. The shots were on target and they went in. So I started thinking at that point, maybe the goalkeeper and the right back were a little bit weak. And I just um, needed to think about that a little bit. Now, before we go into Dartford, I need to tell you a little bit about some movements. Actually, we'll keep going. Well, the next two games were like goalless draws and I couldn't score. And I was starting to get concerned. We looked redundant in these games. And you've probably had it before yourself where there's like a collapse in the tactics. It just looked like nothing was working. So I didn't really know what to do. And if you look at the Dartford game, I mean, nobody played well. It was just a, Charlie Allen had a good game. Hunt was okay. 
Um, but then we went to St Albans and we're back to winning ways. Charlie Allen scored, and this was the first goal we'd scored in three games. So we're going to have a look at this goal for you um, and let you see it. That was a lovely finish, wasn't it? That was after like three games of frustration and we just couldn't score. So I was delighted with that goal. It was a lovely, timely goal and he got man of the match for that, which was lovely. Not, not just for that, obviously. but uh, So in a week's break and we went to Ebbsfleet and you, Adi Youssef, who is a loan player, has come from, um, I think it's Mansfield. I'm not sure, I'll have to double check that. Uh, but he is there because we have now a link with that club as a, a senior affiliate, which I needed. So I brought him in. Uh, again, he came in around about this time where it started to go wrong and I was starting to regret it, but he got a hat-trick and really sort of scored great. We played really well, just a bit more possession, loads more shots on target. Um, great performances in the middle of the park again. Tewu and Whittle playing excellent um, and everything. You know, Youssef, obviously, great performance there. So we then played Eastbourne Borough, Eastbourne Borough. Again, battered them. Thomas, Tiru, Yusuf, Tiru with the man of the match performance. I mean, everything's just going really well. Um, so, you know, today's match, which I'm going to live come, is going to be Gosport. Now, squad, look at the squad. As you can see, there are some changes. We have Nathan Thomas on loan. Um, we have Adi Yusuf on loan as well. And now I'm looking at, uh, I decided that Nicky Bull and David Hunt weren't good enough in goal and at... So I got one of my old favourites, Philippe uh, Laz, ooh, Lazarenu, and he's a quality player at this level. I've had him in other games. He is 34, same age as me, so that's not that old. Um, and as you can see, for his goalkeeping stats, everything's kind of good. You know, the, the, everything's decent. There's nothing really weak, and for this level, that's okay. And he also enjoys great teamwork skills, a good work rate, concentration's good. Composure is good. He's a naturally quite fit. He's strong. So I was kind of thinking, you know, in terms of a goalkeeper at this level, even if the scouts didn't quite agree, I felt that he was a good a good investment for this season, and better than Nicky Bull by quite some way. Um, the other guy that we've brought in, which has played his debut for us, is Matty Bevins, from um, who's played in the Vanarama South for Wellston, a couple of games that he's played really well this season, just averaging just over seven, which is good. He's, again, never had a, a massive chance in any way. He's, he's been to Watford, he's then moved to Oxford, played a few games, went to Farnborough on loan, then joined Wellston. So in his career in real life in the last five years, he's not quite got settled and regularly playing, but maybe he's got something for us. So he's going in the team, um, and the rest of the team pretty much picks itself at the minute. Some great performances. Taylor Crossdale's playing really well. Um, but we've gone to a, a four-five-one type tactic, a kind of a four-five-one or a four-two-three-one. Um, <clears throat> just trying that out uh, again. Not sure about him. I might just drop him in there and then replace him with the other guy, Taylor Crossdale. Um, and and obviously we've got Matt Bevins now. He's going to come in because I do think that he's better. Uh, Ladapo, I think it deserves a place on the bench maybe instead of Jolly who's not been playing very well uh, obviously his match fitness is down he is someone who I'm happy to give a game to in fact he might well just come in ahead of ahead of him there I just want to make sure they're on the right side just want to make sure he's getting his best um, so that sort of works quite well he plays defensive links in with the play um, so that's pretty much it, guys, in terms of the updates. Uh, the staff, I've brought in some good staff, plenty of staff in there. I just want to show you all. Um, we've got some. We've got a new assistant manager, Joe Backhouse, who joined us. Stuart Allen's gone. Uh, um, everyone else is pretty much as we need. And uh, in the, we've got players here that are listed to, to go. Um, 600. So grand a week. Grand three, grand four, grand six in wages. So I'd love to get them off the wage bill. So I keep offering them for free. <laughs> uh, but I don't know if we're going to be able to going to be able to do that really. Um, I don't know if I can set asking prices. A... Yeah, we'll do that. Yeah, that's cool. I need to kind of go... I don't know how do you do it here. Asking price zero. That's fine. Sorry about this, guys. It's important stuff. Asking price 10K. No. Asking price zilch. K. 
Okay, to Zilch, Muko, asking price 18. Oh, he's not gonna, we're not gonna get that, we just want him off the wage bill, really. I always find that you don't tend to get offers of any, um, any decent amount. Jamie Taylor, now oh, he's probably not worth anything. Yeah, that's fine. I know what we've done here. Transfer status, transfer listed, not needed. Right, so um, I've got all that. And then I'm just gonna offer them again just to keep that right. Okay, so we're in the match preview, and the team we are playing is Gosport, who are 16th in the Vanarama League South. Here they are, lost five, only won two games, and they're both at home. So we are playing, I think we're away from home. Let's just have a look. Yeah, we're away from home. But, you know, I think we've got a good chance, so we're just going to see how it goes. Um, just going to check on Olambu. He might not have the strongest position for his play. Yeah, he needs to be a supporting winger, so he's a lot stronger. So they've all the players are comfortable in their roles. Um, Ladipo is still getting, sorry, Lazarou is still getting fit. But obviously we should, we're heavy favourites for this game. They're playing a the solid 4-4-2. So let's just uh, pick the team where they went off and let's go and have a watch. So here we go. We are the Blues. And hopefully we'll, we'll do okay today. Goodman, who's an excellent defender. Thankfully, he didn't get booked there after 30 seconds, which would have been really bad. We're starting to get a settled team together. I'm hoping that Bevins is going to come in and like, solidify that right-back position. Everyone else, probably the only other position now is Brett Johnson at centre-back. Now, Ladipo's been complaining about not getting a lot of game time. So I'm hoping he sort, you know, tries to take a, a position here because I'm giving him a chance. Um, we'll hopefully see what happens. We've got a lot of movement going forward. Yusuf or go straight at Ashmore. Um, just got to, I usually go with the assistant manager on their observations most of the time unless it's really you know totally illogical what I'm doing he certainly got a lot of views but we're moving the ball about nice pass it pass it ah oh, Timu what are you doing it should have been a goal you need to put them away man again he offers us a lot but uh, he didn't offer us anything there that was disappointing and sometimes you find that those big chances just really sway a game. Oh no, that, I thought for a second there that was a penalty. Yusuf's been playing a lot better in the last couple of games. Right back to the keeper. And we're coming up to half time. It's going to be another kind of a boring half. We want to see a bit more. Uh, calm. I, like, I think I'm okay with that. Uh, we've got... Odenbo, there's not really anybody, so we might put Ladipo there. And then Taylor Crossdale on the up front. Give him a bit of encouragement. Seem deep in thought, so he's thinking about it. But the lad thinking, if you get people thinking, you've got half a chance. Goodman, our best defender. Well, I thought for a second Thomas might just take him on there and be on his bike. Taylor Crossdale looking for that ball. Who's wants it? Well, that was a poor ball. Wasted. Let's just go attacking for a bit because I think we've got the. We seem to have the edge on them. A bit of a numbers game. That we've sort of drawn them back. That's a good ball. Yusuf. Oh, straight at the keeper again. Finishing's terrible. That's two clear cut chances now. And we've messed them both up. Right, surely now coming up soon, something's going to happen. Oh, that's a good ball. Oh, that's a good ball, and Barker's put it in. Damn. So Nathan Thomas is having a poor game. So Yusuf, and well, I haven't really got any options. Probably Sam Whittle, Tewu, and then I really need to, to hopefully just throw them forward, really. I don't think we're out this game yet. I've got a chance. I've had most of the game. They've only had one shot on target, and it's gone in. Oh, Johnson, what are you doing? So it's a bit of comedy here. Oh, this isn't good. You can see the bit of collapse happening. Oof, good shot. 
Lazarou, I think he had it covered, but... You need to throw people forward now. Obastella looks very solid there in that position. Me and my big mouth. Right, come on, let's get the ball forward. There we go. Giving Yusuf half a chance. Woodford, oh, I thought he'd run that out there. Now we need a quality ball. Yusuf with a good ball. Taylor Crossdale. Oh. For a second there, I thought. I did believe. That's a great ball. I think he was offside. Oh, Jesus. I want to see the replay there because I think there's a shout to be offside there. Let's have a look. Whew, well, if he's not offside, he's close, isn't he? I think I might, they might have got away with that, but a great finish and that nice big shot there. That, that was a cracking finish. So I've lost this game now. Barring a ridiculous comeback that, to be fair, doesn't appear to be coming. Well, they're away again. Bennett's through. And Lazarus made a save to spare me blushes. Nightmare. Kind of don't deserve to win this, but we've had a much better of it, but just the shots have just been wayward again. 3-0 would flatter them, though. Oh, 3-0 flatters the brains out of them. Jesus. Don't want to see that again. Man, not four, surely. Wow. Well, disappointed with that one. Need to do better. So we're down to second now. So that's a really a poor one for us. Um, yeah. Bevins makes Margate debut. He, Adioli... Who wants to discuss? I don't want to talk to him. Um, right, so our next match is the FA Cup second round qualifier. So we're going to move Zoom forward to play that game and then we'll be back uh, to see how we get on that game. Then we'll end the video. So, guys, hold your horses. I'll be right back. Right, guys, we're back ready for the FA Cup game away to Hayes and Yedding and there's the team that I've gone for today I'm going for I'm going to what I am going to do though is I'm going to put um, Taylor Crossdale off for who can play there Nathan Thomas and then him for Danny Green so let's see how that pans out guys Thomas no I thought he could play there you dirty devil hang on can he play there can anyone play there? That'll do. Oh, I need to check this, hang on. Well, he can play there, so I'm just leaving him there. Right, I'll do. Come on, boys. I want to do better today. I love cup runs, especially the lower league teams. You need that extra money. It's the only time you can really get a big wedge of cash. Right, come on. Nice start. Oh, Yusuf, go on. Tipped over by Norman in the first 24 seconds, so that's a good sign. Oof, big rocket there. If that had hit the net, that would have been a goal of the season contender. Cracking ball, it's carved us up. Ooh. Want them to drop deeper. 
because that's too many times over the top. Oh my god. Another offside shout. Gee whiz. Right, that's a bit of a disappointment. Just feel like we're flushing ourselves down the loo at the minute. Oh, come on, boys. There's nothing at all. There's no penetration. There's nothing. Oh, good save. A shot. He did have a shot right at the defender. Well done, Jake. At the back. Working at the box, you useless turd burgers. Terrible. Oh, I'm not the carved is open again. Oh dear. Come on. I think we're gonna to go to a counter attacking formation here, but a very fluid one if we can. They're very good on the counter. Well done. Why? Ah, oh, no. Just can't seem to do anything at the minute. Gonna go to a four five one but at half time, so this is really bad. Really disappointed that we're flushing ourselves down the toilet quite so hard as we are here. Uh okay, Danny Green for who can play defensive mid, Solomon. And then I want green for Whittle. Yeah, that'll do. Just go for that. Try and I know it seems defensive, but I need to show that up, otherwise I'm gonna concede more goals. He didn't really do anything at the back, so hopefully we can start from the back and play a bit of football. And I think we're gonna to have to go overload. It's FA Cup guys, we need to have a go. They're playing a lot of men behind the ball. Oh, I thought for a second that was going to be a lovely goal. But it got us right back in it. Come on. Could have gone anywhere that. Come on, boys. Thinking about making a change up front. Mm -hmm. Time to change. So we've got Crossdale, Ladipo. I'm going to go for Crossdale. We're going to throw the dice. 
and then jolly for him so we're going to really throw the dice here two changes half an hour all out attack every card that we can throw has been done Good ball. Go on, Taylor. Get in, son. Get in. Finally. So, a grip off Malin. Taylor uses his pace. Has a pop. And it's a goal. Watch that tackle too. Woo! Good save, Lazarou. Come on, lads. We've got 20 minutes to score here. Oh, big save by Norman. That was a mint save. How oh, jolly get that ball back in. No, it's not slipping away. Another boogan. That's a ball and a half. Oh, I thought for a second I had it. Damn. <laughs> Oh man, I hate losing when you stream, I hate it when you record a video and you lose. But we are going to lose twice, this is not good. Now look at all the shots we've had as well. Ugh, what are we going to do about these strikers? Can't hit a barn door man. And that's it, guys. We're out. Out the cup. Disaster. We had all the play and... Yeah, just a really bad defeat. But at least we get to concentrate on the league. So that's a disaster of a stream, <laughs> of a video. You can see we haven't lost two games all season until now. So we've now got a nice um, uh, month and a half, two months of eight games. So I'll come back probably for the FA Trophy third round qualifier. Um, and see how, how we are thank you for watching sorry i lost both games but uh you know this is going to happen in the early days we've got things to work on so maybe a, f a couple of strikers to look at um tactics still need a bit work so yep that's all for now guys thanks for watching and i'll see you all on the next video